In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install R Commander on your Ubuntu or Linux machine. Now, R Commander is a graphical user interface of the program R, which is the R statistical tool. Now, uh, in my last video, uh, and if you're looking at this on YouTube, I just recently made a, a video on installing R on your system or upgrading R from the older version to 3.5.2 on your system and I'll have the link below to my website that will show you how you can install the R commander on your system now to start with this is what the R commander will look like it's just a graphical user interface as I've already said uh, that will allow you to enter the same type of commands that you would enter in the program R or the R statistical tool now to start with you need to open up R so you have to have R installed and I can open up R by clicking on the applications menu going to programming and clicking on R now if you've just installed R by the default it will place it in your graphics menu but in my last video I showed you how to take it and hide it from the graphics menu and put it into the program menu you just click R or execute R and now the R program loads so that must be loaded in order to install R now this is the command that you put in the R program in order to install R commander so I'm gonna go ahead and start typing this it's install and then period now notice it is case sensitive now I'm gonna type the word packages and then I'm gonna uh, open parenthesis and then I'm going to hit my quote now capital R small letters C M D R close my parenthesis comma space dependencies D E P E N D E N C I E S space equals and then capital T R U E and then close parenthesis. Now I press the return key and it says installing it and it's showing you a location that it's going to install and it's going through the installation process. Uh, it's going through and installing the actual program. It's downloading the individual files and you can see each file, the size of them, and then it will go through the installation process. Now I'll, I'll let that minimize in the background as I scroll down. Uh, and that's what we just put into it. So I have the link below that shows you the step-by-step -step, uh, procedures for installing it. And I said, be patient while it loads. That's what you saw it scrolling. And then when you're finished, it will let you know where it installed your packages to. So it will give you a little uh, indicator where everything was installed at. It's still installing. So I'll pull this out to the side. because we can't start it until it finishes inst the installation process. So I said, be patient. It will take some time because it is installing a program. But uh, once it does install, uh, to execute or to start the R commander in your uh, R terminal, you'll type in library and notice it's case sensitive. Open parenthesis, capital R, C, M, D, R, all lowercase letters with close parenthesis and it will open your graphical user interface And before I stop the video I'll show you how that you can add an icon to your menu so that you can click on it and open it straight into our commander which it will execute R and then it will automatically load into our commander so it's a uh, it's it's kind of finalizing the final steps because it went through and downloaded all the packages now it's going through and it's installing them So it has several packages that it will install. And then when it's finished, as I already said, it will give you the location. So it should show you the download source packages are in, and it will show you the location, which is my temp. And then it generates a name, and it's going to show you your download packages. So it should be close to finalizing. It's getting close. So just be patient. It's almost finished. And 
Now I will show you while it's still installing, uh, what I have left on my web page other than starting the R commander is, and I show you step by step or go, go through each individual menu so I don't really discuss everything about the R commander, the features of it. But if you look, once it does get installed on your system, I'm going to show you how you can go into the preferences, look and feel, and click on the main menu. And as you can see, there's R that I put in the programming. I'm going to show you the step by step procedures for actually putting. Uh, the R commander so that you can click on an icon to actually start the program from the menu just as you normally would any other program that you have installed on your Linux machine so as soon as this finishes I will step or I'll actually execute it to show you that it works and then we'll close it out and then I'll show you how you can install that into your menu Okay, the installation of R Commander is now complete. As you can see on my webpage, the image behind it where it says done R Commander, that's the command to execute it. Uh, it says to download the source packages and show you where it placed it on your computer. Now, that's a separate computer than this one is. This is my desktop, this is my laptop that I've installed it. But it will put it in the temp folder and it generates a random uh, folder name and it does place uh, it in the downloaded underscore packages so that's where it actually places your uh, source packages that they installed now this did take a long time so I kinda jumped through the video I cut out a lot of the installation so if you notice the time changed on my video it's because I edited some of this out I cropped out the ins some of the installation process now to start your library uh, or to start our commander you type in library it is case sensitive then you use the open and close parenthesis and you type capital R then C M D R close parenthesis you press the enter key or the return key and it's going to go through it'll take a moment to load the packages it's loading required packages and then in a moment and here it is here's your R commander program and this is just a GUI a graphical user interface of the R terminal or the R statistical tool now you can just go to file exit and close out of this or you can just simply click out on the X button in the upper right hand corner and it's going to ask you do you want to exit you hit OK as you normally would close a normal application but to close the, the R statistical tool you just type in quit Q U I T and then open and close parenthesis and you press the enter key or the return key and it said do you want to save the workspace I'm going to say no press the enter key and it closes now that's how you install our commander on your system and that's what it looked like and then I show you uh, how to go through the menus now if you look up here to application there's no R commander in your programs folder just like we have R so if you follow these instructions on my website I will show you how you can install the R commander in your uh, tool so that way you don't have to load it load up R and type into the R terminal if you go to system then you go to preferences look and feel then click on the main menu once that pops up and it should take a moment or two there it goes it popped up now let me go back to my web page I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to show you where the information that you put in here here it is I'm going to scroll up where it's at the top now you bring up your menu and you're going to add a new item but you're going to add it to the programming folder so on the left hand side click on to select programming then you're going to click on the new item when the new item dialog box or the create launcher dialog box appears you're going to first change from application to application and terminal so you click the drop down menu and you select application and terminal now for the name you can just simply copy and paste you copy our commander and you bring up your launcher and you paste it in the name and then where it says the command this is important you highlight everything that you see here you copy you bring up your launcher again put the command in there just copy and paste and then your comment is just a it's basically a graphical interface and the comment it's not necessary but if you're ever looking through your uh, menu and making changes if you forget what that is this is to help you in the future now to for your icon, and I'll go on my webpage to show you where that's at.
Here's the location. User share icons high color 48 by 48 uh, apps. So you to change the icon, you click the little icon I, on the upper left hand corner. Then you're going to change for user share icons high color. And then here where it says scalable, we're going to go back and click on high color. And we're going to change it to 48 by 48. Click on apps. And then we're going to go down and select the R logo because this is the graphical user interface of R. So we're using the same icon for R Commander as we did with uh, our, our program. Then we hit OK. And then in the background, we still have our main menu dialog box popped up. And as you can see, the only thing that should show in program is Atom, R, and R Commander. So in our applications, when I go to program, I have Atom. R and R Commander. So let me close this out. Let me come up here and I'm going to click on to R Commander. Now for the first time it may take a little longer than normal and if you leave it highlighted over it it shows you our little comment that we put into it. So that will help you when you like here's a comment that shows what that one is. So let me click on R Commander. It takes a moment. It loads your R but in the background it's also loading the script where you don't have to type in the library and then open close parenthesis and put your R and then CMD close parenthesis. It will load it for you. So remember, you can just press the close, hit OK, and then type quit. Open and close parenthesis. And then press the enter key. And it will ask you, do you want to save the workspace? We'll say no. Press the enter key. And we have now exited our program. So that shows you how to install R Commander on your system and how to add the icon to your programs menu. Now in my next video I will show you how to install our studio so stay tuned to my next video and I hope this has been a help to you and have a great day.